I've been like a student of uh, cinema for a very long time. This whole tradition of retelling is in itself is something that I try to play out in my work. And a cross-pollination between the Indian subcontinent and the Middle East. It's interesting that, uh, you know, it has been shown here that it would find some resonance in some of the stories that people may have grown up with here in, on this, in this uh, place. I'm very excited to show One Life Many uh, for the first time here and uh, found its uh, life finally uh, after like, you know, working on it for almost one and a half years. Like if you look at One one Life Many, there is like, you know, always working with the extremes of, you know, uh, the gender extreme. You know, man becomes a woman, woman becomes a man. And also in this case, you know, there's a busy city, uh, kind of a place of give and take. And there is like an extreme isolation, uh, uh, almost brutal, that is kind of juxtaposed on the water. And two different cameras are used and you know, the way of filming is also entirely kind of opposite in nature. The idea again is to kind of, you know, present these extremes as if they belong to a singular world in some way. The juggler piece uh, was made uh, as a part of a bigger show that was in 2012, I think. So the pot comes to be uh, symbolic of the body that has been perished and then the water that flows out uh, comes to uh, symbolize uh, the life that has been lived inside that body. Uh, in fact, when we were shooting it, we kind of lost a lot of pots while he was juggling. Each of the pieces that you see here either has a story to tell or a piece of music or a song to be sung.